hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell for more upcoming diy future videos For this DIY, I'll be creating a vintage mannequin headlamp. My inspiration are the photos that you see here. Mannequins with vintage hats. Start off, I'll be starting with a female styrofoam mannequin head. Next, I'll be using clear school glue and a sponge brush. I will position my mannequin for video purposes only and next I'll be applying a generous amount of school glue and using my sponge brush to spread it around throughout the whole head. This will prevent from the styrofoam from melting when it's time to spray paint. I gave it two coats and let it dry for two hours. Next I took it outside and spray painted two coats of metallic gold. Next I took a 12 inch cardboard tube and covered it with metallic gold contact paper. Next I'll be taking the mannequin and taking a large skewer and passing it through the hole of the bottom of the mannequin all the way to the top so I have a top placement marking. Next I'll be using my styrofoam cutting wand and I'll be taking the styrofoam cutting wand and placing it on top and this will make the hole bigger because it is styrofoam it's just melting it in place and I'm making it the size of the tube. Next I brought back my tube and I placed it inside the hole and just for FYI I did apply hot glue inside before placing the tube. And this is where I'll be placing the lampshade. Next I purchased these metallic gold and silver placement mats but I'll be using the gold for this project. Next I took my placement mat and I'll be using the center and all I did was just take the placement mat and slide it through the center where the tube is. The remainder of this DIY I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next I apply hot glue where I apply the placement mat and the tube. Next I'll be using long straight needle pins to hold my placement mat in place and as I'm pinning it I'm tilting the side, the back and the front. Because this is the brim of the hat by tilting it in the front and in the back and on the side it will give it more of a glamorous look. I use around 12 needles and where I place my needles I'll be placing hot glue to hold everything in place. Next, I'll be using two hard plastic serving bowls, one 6 inch and one 4 inch, and I spray paint them both in metallic gold. For the 6 inch bowl, I took foam board, cut it to size, and I'll be gluing it from the inside, and this will be for the bottom part base of the lamp. Once I was done, I took the 4 inch bowl and glued it on top of the 6 inch bowl. Once it was dry, I took a generous amount of hot glue and placed it on top of the bowl and then I took my mannequin head and placed it on top and let it dry. Next I took a bunch of assorted flowers and long leaves and I spray painted them metallic gold. Next I took hot glue and I started applying them on my flowers and leaves and I started gluing them on top of the mannequin and in between the tube.
I also glued on two larger flowers and leaf on the bottom base. The bottom base, I glued on gold gem wrap. I'll be using this lamp shade that I created for a previous video and I have many videos linked below on how to create them. I took the 12 inch tube and replaced it with a 14 inch and I took the lamp shade and made a hole and glue it on. And for lighting, I used two remote LED touch lights. Say about this lamp is stunning, glamorous, vintage, and beautiful. This lamp also brings out that extra little shimmering that you need for that special room in your home. And let's not forget the beautiful lighting and shimmering they bring into that special room in your home. And just for FYI, make sure on the lampshade to have the seam on the back and not in the front. I did not notice that the seam was in the front until I turned on the light, but it still looks beautiful. Also keep in mind that this lamp can be recreated in any color of your choice. It also makes a great gift for Mother's Day, Easter, and weddings. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoy creating it. Now don't forget I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.